your mission still is to say, I think I, I, think I can save it. Um, talk a little bit about how you approach that and, and, and how you're dealing and managing with this so that, that, that we are, in effect, saving limbs. Well, I think, first of all, uh, in, in many cases, uh, as I age and as I lose uh, uh, hair uh, I, I, or as it grays, I, I, I realize that sometimes the best surgery is the one we never did. Uh, we're quite busy, um, but we would like to prevent a lot of these problems. Uh, and this is one area where it, it is just rife for prevention, and this, this is such a preventable problem. So a lot of what we're doing now, because uh, salsa is quite new, a lot of what we're doing is we're, we're treating a lot of forest fires, but we'd like to clear the brush, as it were, and stop the problem from, from, uh, from uh, progressing. And we know we can do that. And we are now setting up clinics uh, that uh, have a prevention uh, sort of motif about them. Uh, and uh, in, in, instead of just uh, taking care of a lot of the, the, the big problems that we see, but we're seeing folks along that entire spectrum, from folks that are at relatively low risk, where we can manage them uh, in a uh, non-operative way, just a medical way, and manage that, and hopefully that's most of our patients, to the people that come in with really extreme uh, limb or life-threatening problems, and we have, a, unfortunately, a hospital full of folks like that right now, uh, and we will work uh, uh, with them as well, but we'd like to push the, the spectrum uh, farther toward prevention because that's 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 what we're all about. No, I, I suggest you know we talked about the fact that one of the things you need to do is examine the foot daily for any sorts of, of issue. But the, but how can we prevent it from getting to that point? In other words, this I think one of the things you talk about it's a vascular situation. Are there some lifestyle changes, some other things that people can do that you're telling them about so that it doesn't get to that point where perhaps they still have a little bit of feeling left in the toes? Yeah, the, the answer is yes. Uh, and while a lot of the neuropathy, the loss of feeling, is not reversible when it happens, uh, it is, it's probably, you can delay the onset of it and you can probably prevent the onset of it. A lot of that has to do with lifestyle uh, choices. And diet. Diet, exercise, things that... Uh, probably any, everyone sitting in my chair says says uh, at one point or another, but let's put some meat on the bones here and uh, or maybe take or it maybe off. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> take it off. <laughs> Touche. Uh, but the the uh, I think I think what we can do is we we're working really hard uh, uh, with uh, on the side of the American Diabetes Association. I was an officer with the ADA for a number of years, and st we're still very involved, especially here in Southern Arizona, to our organizations, the Society for Vascular Surgeons, the American Podiatric Medical Association, to get people to be more active. Uh, and if we can start dosing activity as well as we dose drugs, uh, I think we can make a difference. And, and I think that's starting to happen. We know that if you have what's called prediabetes or, or impaired glucose homeostasis, the inability to, to process sugar as well as you could uh, internally, uh, then, and if you just increase your activity to about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, three or four times a week, and this is not, you know, big time uh, Olivia Newton-John aerobic jazzercise stuff. We're talking <laughs> just walking, uh, walking up and down your street, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, and being a bit active. You can really make a difference. You can cut the risk of converting to diabetes by. 50 to 60 percent. That's an extraordinary number. That's not within. That's 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 with that with working with your doctor, and uh, and close evaluation. Heredity have anything to do with diabetes? It does. There's a very very strong uh, 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 component of heredity uh, to diabetes to type one, but certainly definitely to type two. So you really, uh, if there was your father, your mother, or somebody in the family, you probably ought to take the <coughs> the diet and the exercise uh, uh, routine to heart pretty quickly. You're, you're right, and that's, uh, that's absolutely true, and the, the trouble is, you know, heredity can uh, uh, work both ways, and often it, it leads to a lot of nihilism, a lot of pessimism, and, you know, I had a patient in my clinic literally this morning, uh, the, uh, and uh, I know we're taped, but it was, uh, but the, it was that uh, uh, then she was saying, uh, uh, you know, my, my mother, my, my, my father, my kids, uh, uh, they all have diabetes. Uh, my father had his legs off and died. My mother went on dialysis, had her legs off and died. And, and it was this, this pessimism that is really so profound and difficult to deal with.
As we wrap up our discussion, let's pick up on that. Um, and and we you know we mentioned the not so good outcome for uh, Waylon Jennings and even Ella Fitzgerald. When it becomes necessary that a limb or two are removed, what's the long-term prognosis for that person after that occurs? Well, uh, it, first of all, it varies from person to person. But what I will tell you, in general, um, when someone has an amputation, um, it, it's about as bad as cancer. And the five-year mortality is about equivalent to a real bad cancer like uh, colon cancer, other problems like that. About half of folks are dead. Pancreatic cancer or yep, something that's else. A, the, it's, it's all on that spectrum. And, and the trouble is we'd never think of withholding therapy on someone with lung cancer or pancreatic cancer or Hodgkin's disease or, or breast cancer, God forbid. But it happens all the time with diabetes. We just think that someone has their leg off, they got a sore, they're just going to get an amputation and another leg off. And it's that pessimism that we're fighting as much as the disease process because what we know and what we see every day at, at Salson at the university uh, is that uh, we can make a difference. I think, I think that's the point that we need to leave our folks with here that, that um, if they have diabetes there are certain things that they can do to avoid it getting to that point and then the long-term outlook is pretty good. They might be taking some insulin and then readings and, but prognosis is pretty good. You're absolutely right. So get the mirror and Check your feet and take care of yourself. Exercise and you'll be in pretty good shape. You're right on. Thank you very much for being with us. And, and, let, and let's hope you put yourself out of business at some point as far as the surgery part goes. Look forward to it. Okay. That's our program for today. I'm Bob Lee. Have a safe week ahead. And remember, if you're in a motor vehicle, please buckle up for safety. If you're driving that motor vehicle, signal before you change lanes or turn corners. And always be on the lookout for motorcycles and bicycles. See you again next week.